Howdy fellow tubeubers. Today's video I'm titling Remember When dot 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 Hollywood had the big obsess obsession with remaking Asian horror. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show some of uh, the original releases of that. Takeshi McKay's One Missed Call. Creepy, fun film. Genuinely creepy, not like forcing itself to try to make you think it's creepy, but creepy. And then Hollywood remade it with uh, Shannon Sossaman, and it was a ball of crap. This is not a ball of crap. This is good. Has a couple sequels. Not quite as good, but still better than anything America did. Pulse. Right there. They remade this with Kristen Bell. And it also spawned like two, three, four, five, eight, nine, twenty sequels. I don't know, like three. Right there. The guy who made this also did a film called Retribution, which is cool. This is good. The American Pulse is not. The Hollywood obsession with the Asian horror is that they had to basically, I don't know, dumb it down, take out all the really good, creepy stuff that were in these other films that were rated R for a reason, and they make it PG-13 just so more kids can go see it. I guess that's a big audience. Probably one of the biggest atrocities, in my opinion. This is the original Premonition. This is a really, really, really good film. They re remade this with Sandra. I haven't made a good movie since Speed Bullock. No, I do not like Sandra Bullock. I don't think she can act. She's right up there with, like, Jessica Alba. At least in, like, Sin City and whatnot. And Machete, I can put up with Jessica Alba. And Dark Water. This is the original. The American remake of this with Jennifer Connelly is one of the better American remakes. Um, also, which I have behind me in the Asian section, the uh, Ringu movies, which of course here is the ring. I do not like <coughs> the American rings. Um, I didn't find the I didn't find them scary at all. I didn't find them creepy. Um, scariest thing about the second ring here in America was the deer attacking things. The other ones, the jet, the you know, the Asian Ringus, I like those. Those are really creepy films. They just have that atmosphere to them. And you know, even if it's the same Asian director doing his version in America of the same movie. You know, it's like The Grudge. I like Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, the Grudge they released in theaters, not that great. The one they released unrated on DVD, not too bad. I'm glad that America doesn't have that obsession with having to grab up every single Asian horror movie and destroy it. But unfortunately, Spike Lee has a new movie coming out. Wah, wah. Don't like Spike Lee. I don't like anything he's done. He's part of this remake. This is the first of the uh, Revenge Trilogy. This is an awesome film. This is brilliantly done. This is Park Chan-wook. Brilliant. 
I don't think the Americanized version is going to be that brilliant. I would be surprised if the American version kept the same ending that this one has. I won't say nothing, but I'd be really surprised if they kept it. I don't think American audiences can handle that. So, that's just my take. Any of those films I showed you, they're all great films. If you're into Asian horror, they're fantastic. I got tons more Asian horror behind me. Um, luckily, most of it has not been remade in America, nor will it ever be remade. Hopefully anywhere. I love Asian horror, though. I love the creepiness that it instills in you. That just one scene with a certain camera shot can send chills up your spine. I like that. Um, I don't think a lot of American uh, horror movies give that same effect in quite the same way, doing it the same way. But uh, there's just not a lot, at least where I live, a lot of Asian horror coming out in stores that I can get to. I used to always pick up the Tokyo Shock label, loved the Tartan Asia Extreme, which is what Old Boy and the other parts of this trilogy are on. I used to see these all the time at Walmart. They were all $9.99. I used to buy like everyone that came out and I was never really disappointed in this label but I don't see these anymore. I don't see the Tokyo Shock anymore. I don't see a lot of the stuff that I used to see at the Walmarts and the, the Beast Buys and whatnot. So, you know, I still keep up to date on it here and there. Whether it's through Rue Morgue or Fangoria or websites or something, you know. I keep up to date on all horror stuff, or at least I attempt to. So, that's my take on that. If any of you like the American remakes, like I said, the only one I really like is uh, Dark Water. I think that was well done compared to the original. And the unrated version of The Grudge on DVD is decent. But uh, really, all the other ones, unless I can't think and I missed a couple... I can't really remember liking any of them too much, so I'm just glad that it's not the slew of films that they were pumping out and advertising. It's hot out today. Oof. So that's the video. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think about remakes of any sort, particularly uh, Asian ones, because this is what my video is about. But, uh, yeah. I'm all for remakes if they're well done. But when you don't have a studio or a director or a writer or anything that respects the original source material, hook them up to a horse and drag them through a field because they don't deserve to get their hands anywhere near a precious property of a fantastic film. Thanks for watching. Keep it classy, San Diego.